this episode of Video Game Review is brought to you by Gamefly. For over 8,000 titles to choose from, no lick fees, never play a bad game again, or buy one for that matter, when you sign up with Gamefly.com. Link down in the description. Resident Evil, the greatest video game franchise of all time, is back with its seventh installment. But, is it any good? Because this time around, you can't, there's no Leon, there's no Umbrella, there's no Claire or any of those characters. Nope. There's just some guy named Ethan looking for his wife Mia. Well, you're about to find out because this episode of Video Game Review is all about it, and it starts right now. ones to an all new episode of the video game review brought to you by Gamefly.com and GameStop.com and Scrim Gear from our very own Tara Babcock. If you can buy any of her gear, t-shirts, hoodies, or anything else for that matter, she's got both for men and women alike. Make sure to head over on Twitter and put the hashtag Tara Babcock merch along with a picture of what you bought. And with over 8,000 titles now to choose from, no leak fees, never play a bad game again, or buy one for that matter until you try it with Gamefly.com first. Link is down in the description as well. And GameStop.com is also your source for all your gaming needs of any kind. Be sure to head on to the link down in the description. And if you go to any of these three places, let us let them know yours truly, Joseph Michaels, the adventurous Joe Sentius. And this episode of Video Game Review is about Resident Evil 7. Now, this thing was unbelievable. Survival horror is back. Even though it's in the first person shooter perspective. I meant seriously, you can't see your character the whole fucking time. You can't see this Ethan character whatsoever, or even when you play as Mia later on and stuff like that. You can't even see her. This game was unbelievable. Resident Evil 7 has finally brought it back to the horror franchise it used to be back when Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 were around and stuff. When 4, 5, and 6 happened, it kind of lost that horror perspective. Okay? But number 7 has done it. It's brought it back to the horror franchise. Ethan Winters has come looking for his wife, Mia. She went missing a long time ago. And over three years, she's been gone. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, he gets a message from her saying to please come and get me. You know, get me out of here. Okay. Now, this is where things get creepy. And we're going to tell you all about it. Because we're going to check out the gameplay footage now as we review the game. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Resident Evil 7. Okay. Now, as we said, Ethan has come in search of his wife, Mia. Now, the problem is he doesn't know what the hell's going on here. The message came from some rural farmhouse and stuff, okay? Farming house place, okay? And it turns out there, this is the home of the Baker family, okay? He has come there looking for his wife Mia, and it just goes crazier from here. Because at one point, after you find Mia the first time and stuff, she goes wacky. She goes fucking nuts like she's possessed and starts attacking you with a knife and everything. And you're sitting there going, what is wrong with you? Stop that. Stop that. You know, she even goes as far as cutting off your hand with a chainsaw while it's pinned against the wall with a screwdriver. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, the game itself just takes it to a whole new level. Because not only 
does the Baker family itself have its crazy scariness to them and stuff. You know, but there's more to the story of the Baker family, why they why everything is going on, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, in this game, everything is done from the first person perspective. You cannot see your character whatsoever. You can see your hands, but you cannot see the character whatsoever. And it's even worse in virtual when you use the VR headset and stuff. If you're queasy, you really would not want to play it with that because it will make you very dizzy at times. It'll make you very sick to your stomach at times. When that's happening, you need to disconnect right away from that thing or you're going to throw up. I meant you are literally going to throw the fuck up. Now, Resident Evil 7 okay. is Fine. back to the horror franchise. It used to be back when Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 took place. And... You got the j jump scare moments. You've got those moments where you're like, that's it, get the fuck away from me kind of shit. I'm running, and then so on and so forth. You've also got the puzzle solving. I hate puzzle solving, but at the same time, it's classic Resident Evil type puzzle solving. You gotta find certain items and stuff like that. The one thing I hate most about this is it makes you build your own ammunition. Ammunition is scarce in this thing. So if you come across ammunition, you better be very sparing with you and your headshots better count for everything. Because if you're out of ammunition, you're fucked. I mean, you will literally be fucked. And it's just a very disturbing thing if you run across these other things that are like um mold kind of creature things and stuff. I meant literally they, they're like moss men, mold men, whatever the hell you want to call them exactly. The, they pop out of walls, they'll pop out of floors, and they'll literally start attacking you. They got razor sharp teeth I mean, and there's they're coming all sizes. There's one that there's ones that have no legs but they'll jump at you because they got a tail and stuff. There's ones that freaking uh, have their, you know, skinny type bodies and stuff like that. There's ones that are fat as holy hell. And, I mean, oh my god. The mold, the molded is just fucking crazy for the Resident Evil thing to be like zombies kind of thing. Okay? It replaces the zombies, but at the same time, they are scary as fucking hell. And, not to mention what I was saying about the ammunition thing and stuff. The boss battles are even crazier. You gotta have the right amount of ammunition with you. You better have some healing factors with you and stuff. Because this shit will drive you insane if you die over and over and over again. Each one of the Baker family is fucking a boss battle. You will come across the dad first. You will f and fight him. Then you're gonna come across the mom. You'll come across the brother later on and shit, and he puts you through this fucking, you know, catch me if you can kind of bullshit game and stuff in order to rescue your wife Mia and the brother's sister Zoe, okay, who calls you on the phone during each time around and stuff like that, giving you little hints and subtleties about things. It's just like, wow. Not to mention the puzzle solving. It's like shadow playing with the puzzle solving now and stuff. You have to match the picture. You have to use the item to make the light match up to the picture and stuff. In order to unlock doors or hidden rooms and stuff like that. It's unbelievable. Not to mention the creepier it, you get it. The more you get into it, the creepier the game gets. Okay. Now, it's time to move on to the final judgment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Final Judgment for Resident Evil 7 is going to be an 8 out of 10. Now, the reason why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 is because of the factor that some things don't always work right in the game. For one, when you're trying to lean, you try to get it where it's, it shows the X button set, thing says to hit the X button or something like that. You know, it it doesn't always do it. You have to move back some, push yourself forward a bit until it appears again, and then click the, so it'll do the action you want it to do. 
And it's even worse than the VR headset. Oh my God, it's even worse than the VR headset. You will become very nauseous at times. If you are one of those people that gets very uh, from this shit, you better disconnect right away from that headset and just plug in your controller and play the game from there. Otherwise, you are going to be sick to your stomach. Not to mention get a bleeming fucking headache out of it. Wow. Terrible. Either way, Resident Evil 7 has a great story, great factors to bring it back into that franchise of things and stuff, and it's badass as hell. I mean, seriously, the jump scares at times where you're just like, oh, fuck, get away from me, bam, kind of deal, and shit like that. It will make you literally that terrified. And if you're playing it in the headset, it's even worse. So, Final Judgment stands at an 8 out of 10. We're giving it two thumbs up. I meant seriously. Two thumbs up. That's a, and a high recommendation. Try it out for yourself. You can get it on Xbox One, PS4. Either way, you can play it. PS4, you can play it with the headset and stuff like that. Your VR headset and stuff. Or you can play it with the norm, okay? You can play it with the controller and stuff. Either way, the game is unbelievable and deserves great praise to Capcom. Jesus God. Great praise to Capcom, okay? They did a fantastic job on bringing it back to the horror franchise it used to be and stuff. Because the jump scares, the fucking amazing boss battle shit, all that. Worth, worth your time and effort to play through the game. And that's it, my adventurous ones, for this episodic episode of the Adventurous Joe's Video Game Review. Whew! Unbelievable. What are your thoughts on Resident Evil 7? Have you played it yet? Or if you have not played it, let's know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. What do you think about it? Did you like the game? Do you hate the game? Do you think the first person shooter thing is a bad idea, a good idea? Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're new, leave your comments, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon in the subscriber button so you get notified when our next video game review comes up or any other of our reviews or new episodes of the Adventurous Joe Show itself go up. Either way, hit the little bell icon and make sure that you get your notification activated so you know when our next episodes are coming up. Either way, that's it for this episode of the Video Game Review. Our next time around, we'll be checking out Abzu. Oh my god, that game was amazing. For an indie title type game, it was amazing. Either way, that's it. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to sign up with Gamefly.com if you want to try out some over 8,000 titles now to choose from. No late fees, never play a bad game again, or buy one for that matter. So you try it with Gamefly.com first. Head over to GameStop.com for all your gaming needs of any kind. And don't forget to check out ScrimGear.com to check out our amazing Tara Babcock's merchandise. She has hoodies, t-shirts, especially the Rage shirt. My god, the Rage! <laughs> I love that Rage t-shirt. I am getting that shirt someday. I don't know when, but I'm going to get it. Yeah, it will happen. <laughs> Either way, that's it, my adventurous ones. I will see you all next time on Video Game Review. Until then, keep on gaming, peace out, and may the force be with all of you. Later.